In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this contact form for your website coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this contact form from scratch. So pretty much this is what it looks like. I've gone in and I've stylized this whole page. I've added a background image here and I've also made this image here a bit dim so that our text here can be easily read. And then over here, I've also stylized my form here just to make it look a bit different. And uh, we have a footer here, which I created in the previous uh, tutorial. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. But this is pretty much our final design for today's tutorial. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my web design formula course, a course that uh, teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And uh, this will get you up and running in no time. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my affiliate link. And once you've done that, you head over to funnels to income.com. And on the bottom right, there's a chat bubble. Please send me your receipt number. And once I've verified it, I will give you access to the course. Pretty much that's all you need to do. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to go into plugins and then I'm going to click on installed plugins. Now here I installed a plugin called Instant Images. This just gives me the ability to just download all the images that I need for this design project. So I'm going to come over here to upload photos. So the images here that I can get are all from Unsplash, which is pretty cool. So let's say uh, my website is about travel. So I can just come over here and... Just click on this image here and you can see now it's downloading the image. Now, let's say it's a different type of image altogether. Maybe it's to do with design. I can just come over here and download this image. So, I mean, you get how easy it is. It just downloads this. But now the good thing is these images are all sent to my media library, which is fantastic. So whenever I need to use them, I can just go to my media library and then just select those images and start using them. So now we have a green check mark, meaning the image has been downloaded. Now let's go to our pages here, click on add new. So this is going to be a contact page. So we're going to title it as contact. And then next, I'm going to click here on use Divi Builder. So I just want to go straight into the builder and design this from scratch. All right. So here I'm going to click on start building. And now you can see I have my builder all loaded up. So what I'm going to do here is to just add a single column. That's all I need for now. And then in that column, we're going to have a text module. So I'm going to select it here. Now over here in the text itself, I just need to just add some text which says get in touch. Okay. You know, for now, I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, because I need to stylize this area here before I can start adding all my content in. So I'm going to save for now. And then next, I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background. And this is where now we need to add our image. So I'm going to click here on this third tab, click on this plus button. Now, remember those images that I added earlier on, they are going to be in my media library. So if I come over here to media library, we can see our two images here. So let's go with this one here. I'm going to click upload an image. And now you can see my images there in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a bit of stylizing to this. So I'm going to come over here and add my color and then go back to this image and change my blend mode to multiply. So multiply is just going to make everything dark. And then when I come over here, I can just play with the sliders here just to add a bit of transparency. Just like that. So now you can see a little bit of hints of our image in the background. Okay. So now that we have this all set, the next step now is to come over here to design spacing. And we're just going to add some padding both to the top and the bottom. So let's start with uh, 7VW here. And we're going to do the same to the bottom. I may even want to increase this a little bit. So let's go to about 10VW. All right. So that looks great. The next step now is just check and see how things look on the tablet. And as you can see, things look okay. And then on the phone as well, things look great. All right. So now that I've set my padding over here, the next step now is to go back in and uh, start working on my design of this area here. So I'm going to click here on save. Now I'm going to go into my text module. So in the text module, all I have to do is just to go into design text and then choose my font. I'm going to go with pop-ins here and then uh, we're just going to increase the size here to 
let's try 7VW here. Now you can see it's nice and big. I really like that. Uh, next, we're going to center this. So I'm going to come all the way down here and then center it. I may even want to make it bold. So I'm going to come over here to regular and then choose bold. Okay, so now you can see it's nice and bold. Now, I'm not really happy with the color here. So let's go in and uh, play around with the colors here and see what looks better. You know what? Let's go with a slight gray. Okay, so we're going to go with that as our color. And then we're going to save. Okay, so that's looking great so far. The next part now is to add a new section that's going to have our contact form. So let's click here on this plus button, regular. And uh, this time we're going to need two equal columns, all right? So in the first column, we're going to add an image. And then in the second column, we're going to add the form. So let me search for my image here and select it. Now, I'm not going to add my image here yet. So I'm just going to save. And then over here on the right, we're going to add our contact form. And let's save this for now. So the next step now is to go into our section settings here and uh, add some padding. So I'm going to click here on spacing and let's go with 10 VW here. We're going to do that to the top and the bottom and then save. Next, we're going to come over here now to our row settings. So I'm going to click here on row settings, design, and then we're going to come over here to spacing. So for the padding here, I'm just going to add zero pretty much all around. Next, I am going to add a background color. So I'm going to come back over here to content background. And then I'm going to choose my background color here by just coming over here like that. Now, the color I'm going to go with is very light gray, but I'm going to add it through the transparency like that. And then I'm going to come over here back to design because over here on my spacing, I can see I still have a bit of, uh, oh, actually this looks okay. That's fine. I'm going to save that. Now I need to work on my image. So I'm going to click here on my image modules, click on design and then go to sizing. So I'm going to force full width because I want this to really fill up the whole space. So now that I have this all set, I'm going to go back over here and add my image. So the image I'm going to add, in fact, let's just go with this one here. Okay. Right. So that's going to be our image. So that looks great. I'm going to save that. And then over here now, I want to give this form uh, a bit of breathing space because it's all the way there to the edge. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, go into the second column, design, spacing, and I'm going to start adding my padding here. So that's the top and bottom. And we're going to do this to the left and the right as well. So I'm just going to add three VW. And now you can see we've got a bit of space now here on the edge. So now that we have this all set, I am going to save this, save it one more time. And then I'm going to add another module here. And this time it's going to be a text module. Select it and give this a title. I'm just going to say fill in the form. Okay. So again, we need to stylize this by coming over here to design text. Change my text font here to Poppins. And we're going to make it slightly bigger by just nudging this a little bit like that. And then making this bold as well. So the color, I'm pretty much happy with that. It's easy to read. So I'm going to go with that and then save. Now I'm going to drag this to the top, just above the form like that. So that looks much better. Right. So now that I have this all set, the next step now is to stylize the form itself. Now, I don't want to use the standard way uh, this form comes in from the module. So I need to stylize this and make it my own design. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to the fields. So over here, we're just going to delete the, the, the fields there and then go to, let's go to the border and add a border to this. So now you can see that looks way different already just by making that slight change. All right, so now that we have our border in there, the next step now is to uh, just give this some rounded corners. So let's go with four, just a little bit. And I think that's good enough. Next, I'm going to work on my button. So I'm going to come over here and activate use custom styles for button. Now with this activated, I just need to add a color to this button here. So uh, the text is going to be white, but the background is going to be this blue. And I'm also going to add the same for the border. And that looks great. Right. So over here on the font, I am going to set this to Poppins. And 
I think I'll leave it as small caps. That's fine. And regular gate as well is fine. All right, so that looks great. Uh, I'm going to also adjust my fields text. So I'm going to come over here. Set this to poppins. And then over here on the fields text, we're going to set this to poppins as well. So now you can see it's been updated. And I'm also going to increase the size a little bit just by nudging it up a bit. So that looks okay. Right, so I'm pretty much happy with this now. So I'm going to save. So that's going to be our contact form. Now I can see here that uh, this image here doesn't look great uh, as it is because we have a massive gap here. Now there's a way to fix this. So let's delete this here and let's add it as a background in the first column. So we're going to come over here, go to the background and then click on the third tab. And then we're going to add this image this way like this. So after we add the form, the next step is to come over here and add a divider. So I'm just going to search for my divider here and select it. So you can see here that this divider here uh, has show divider activated. So we're just going to say no to that. And then we're going to come over here to the design, click on spacing. And all we have to do here is to add some padding, both to the top and the bottom. So as we increase this, you can see that it is filling up the space. So we're going to go with, uh, let's say 13, uh, maybe even 14. But the most important thing here is to make sure that all the other views look great. So we're going to click on this little icon here, go to the tablet. And we can see here on the tablet, this image here is not really covering the space as we want to. So I'm going to increase here my padding until I'm happy with it. So I think 25 is fine here. We're also going to go to the phone and the phone looks okay at 25 but we may need just to add a little bit here like that to about 26 okay so that that's looking great now so we have our form here and uh it's looking great on the three views all right so now that we have this all set i am going to save this we're going to go back over here to our row settings and here in the row settings we just need to add some rounded corners to that form so we're going to come to border and let's set this to about six. Okay, so maybe even about eight. Right, so now my form has rounded corners and it looks great. Now back over here on the content, we're going to go to design sizing and we want to make sure equalize column heights is activated here now the form size is fine the way it is and uh, use custom gutter width is great as well we're just going to reduce the space between the uh, columns here just to make sure that our form is centered but uh, as you can see i just need to go in and just do minor adjustments here because my text here is way too close to the form now all right so with that said i'm going to save this and then i'm just going to come over here now to my form i mean my text click on design spacing and i'm just going to add a bit of bottom margin here like that and i can just uh, do this while i'm looking at the form so 16 is fine then i'm going to add the top as well and uh, the top is going to be let's go with 26. okay so the form now is uh, a bit centered and it looks much better all right so now that i have this all set i may also want to take a look at the tablet view and see what it looks like and to be honest it looks pretty much okay and let's go to the phone view as well and here it looks fine too. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with how things are looking here. Now, remember, if you want to make any changes to the background here, you can play around with different colors. So let's say you want to use a totally different color here in the background. We can just save this and then uh, the changes can be done over here in the row settings and clicking background. So this, as you can see, is our main color. So we can change it to pretty much whatever we want here. And then we can just change what's inside here. But to be honest, I'm pretty happy with what I have there as the gray. So let's just go back and uh, add our gray. There we go. Right, so now I have this all set. The next step now is to add some negative margin because ideally I'd like this form all the way up here in the top. So to do that, again, we're gonna come back to design spacing and we are going to now drag this slider all the way to the left side and as you can see as i'm doing this this is dragging my form all the way up there into that area right there okay so uh, i would go with uh, say uh, minus 238 i'm pretty happy with that so i also need to make sure everything looks great in these three devices so I'm going to switch over here to the tablet and you can see here on the tablet, things don't look really great because it is covering the text. So I just need to bring this all the way down like that. And I'm going to go with uh, perhaps maybe 126. I think that looks great. And then we're going to do the same with the uh, phone. And here we're going to bring it down as well to about say 86. 
Okay, so now that all my three different views look great, all I have to do now is to save. I'm going to save the page one more time. And all I have to do now is maybe give this a drop shadow. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to come back over here, click on design, box shadow, and we're going to go with this first one here. And already just by adding that, this looks really, really nice. So I just need to go in now and just adjust this a little bit by giving the blur strength to about, uh, say, 80. And then we're just going to uh, reduce this a little bit because we want this as subtle as possible. We don't want this to overpower our contact form. So I think that looks nice at minus 20 and save. So pretty much this is our form. Now, what you may also want to do here, if you want to uh, show more of this image here in the background, is to just add a bit more padding to this. Uh, so now you can see here it's at 12. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it at 10 VW. That looks great. I'm going to save this. And now it's time to just take a quick look at our page. Exit the Visual Builder here. And there we go. That's our contact form. So as you can see here, this is nice, easy, clean, and it's also mobile responsive. So go ahead, try it out and uh, see what sort of uh, designs you come up with for your contact pages. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.